you're never gonna find me. So we're here in Cranston, Rhode Island, and we're at Revival Brewing Company. Uh, founded in 2011, that's when they brewed their first beer, and now they're the home of 21 delicious, fantastically named beers. So we're gonna head inside, have a little chat, find out what they're all about. Let's go. So we have Michaela here from Revival. Yeah. Michaela, thank you for joining us. Absolutely. And uh, could you just give our viewers just a quick backstory on the story of uh, Revival? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so Revival started in 2011. Um, our boss, you know, the brewmaster here, Sean Larkin, started his career at Trinity Brewhouse, um, you know, about 20 years ago now. So when he just started. Uh, when he started his own company, this was sort of like the revival of his career, hence the name. Um, and yeah, we've been going strong for about five years ever since. That's awesome. Yeah. So that's, that's an appropriate name, Revival, it kind of revived his career. Yeah. I did see that on the website that he was the brewmaster at Trinity, so... Yeah, I, I don't know actually, you know, if he was the brewmaster, but he worked there for a really long oh, he time. There, okay. He actually, you know, started there as a, a chef originally, and then they needed help in the brewery one day, and kind of, you know, clearly has a knack for it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> well, the beers, I mean, they're delicious. It's, it's one of my favorite beers, not only in Rhode Island, just in general. Um, Mine too. <laughs> but the names of the beers, yeah. they're so unique. Can you give us a little behind the scenes scoop on that, who names the beers? Um, yeah, I mean, it's always sort of a, a group effort, you know, well, it usually starts with a story. If you, you know, notice there's a trend with all of our beers, it's always related back to Rhode Island somehow, a little piece of history or, you know, a legacy of a character back here. Um, you know, and so we'll start with the story first, and then it's just kind of a group collaboration coming up with something that we like. Um, you know, like Fanny is named after the elephant that lived at Slater Park for a while. Um, that's usually how it goes. Awesome. Very nice. So, right here I have the Rocky Point Red Ale, which is, is my favorite uh, revival beer. It's, 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 it's awesome. It's delicious. Yeah. Is that is that your favorite? Um, I don't. My favorite changes all the time, actually. I probably drink the most fanny, the, you know, of the beers that I drink. It's, yep. it's usually fanny, just because I love how sessional it is. But we just released the, the You Thirsty IPA that's also really, really good. Okay. So. Well, I guess, it, especially with beers, it kind of depends on what mood you're in. Exactly. Or you know, what you're eating. Yeah. Or the Absolutely. season or whatever. We kind of brew everything. So. But, I mean, there's something for every palate, for every taste. Yeah, if you can't find a beer that, that fits your fancy, then you're just not looking hard. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We've um, done pretty much all of then it. What's, what's your best seller? Is it... Um, you know, right now, for this season, probably Night Swimmer. It's our Belgian-style yeah. wheat. It's an incredible beer. Um, you know, Rocky Point has been up there for years. It's one of you know the older brews to our portfolio. Um, Fanny does really, really well. And then You Thirsty, since we released it just a few months ago, I mean, sales have been off the charts. It's really kind of insane. Oh, wow. That's yeah. awesome. It's a good problem to have, you yeah. know, being sold out. But <laughs> Absolutely. And another thing we wanted people to see is, obviously, you know, you can come here for a tasting or for a beer. But what else does the Revival Brewery offer to people who want to come besides just the tasting? Yeah, I mean, we offer tours every Saturday. We just started doing that, um, you know, 4 o'clock, you can come in with a group of your friends. It's complimentary, which is nice. You can just kind of show up and we'll show you around the brewery, show you a little bit more about what we do. And in the tasting room, it's, it's a great time. But, you know, we work really closely with events all over Rhode Island and Massachusetts, Connecticut, so at any given time you can find us at festivals and, you know, other fundraisers and it's a lot of fun. So. And it's not just in Rhode Island, right, for liquor stores and, and restaurants and stuff, it's, you guys are, are yeah. in Mass and Connecticut as well? Yep, Mass, Connecticut, and New York, actually, and Japan, which is and Japan. really great. Yeah, these kegs are actually headed to Japan later this week. Oh wow! Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. That, that's really cool. Well, thank you, Michaela, for, for giving us some time today. Thanks I hope for you uh, enjoyed the conversation. Absolutely. Absolutely. Cheers. Cheers.